Hi folks, Tim here, and I'm coming to you from uh, an area I like to camp every so often when the weather is nice, um, kind of in the Prescott area. And this video I'm going to keep short because I'm using my phone, and uh, just thought I'd talk about my first time using my Gold Monster 1000 uh, metal detector and my experience and how I found my first gold. Alright, so I've camped in this area a few times before and I never really gave it much thought as far as finding gold here. Um, the area, the campsite, the spot that I like, somebody else was there when I drove up yesterday so I drove quite a ways in on a pretty rugged road um, I wouldn't suggest it for anything unless you have a four-wheel drive or something with a little clearance. Um, but uh, while out walking the other day, I came across a couple signs down the road, a little ways down. And uh, they were uh, claims somebody had posted uh, for a claim. And then when I was out hiking up the hill here, I came across a lot of piles of dirt so I assume that's where somebody's been doing some prospecting. Um, so I figured, okay, I've got my uh, my new gold monster. I haven't had a chance to use it because I've been busy. Um, so I figured, okay, I'll take it out and give it a try. <laughs> well, I have to say I didn't find any gold with it today. Uh, I had fun. I, I stopped a little early because of the weather. It's getting a little overcast and we started getting a little sprinkles. Um, so I came back, but here is what I found. Uh, some gunshot or some bullet, you know, uh, remnants. And it was kind of fun, you know, getting the signal and digging it up, kind of learning the machine how to use it, um, how to tell what what kind of targets you're getting. And one of the reasons I, I'm kind of interested in this area is just some of the rocks that I've been finding are really cool. And uh, I like the uh, what I see here. And I'm not a geologist, so I really don't know a whole lot yet about minerals and rocks and what to look for. Now... As the title says, I have found gold, um, and it just recently. And here's the vial I bought that I, you know, plan on filling up with those nuggets. <laughs> I guess I'm an optimist. Um, but here is the gold that I've actually found. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if we can focus. It's kind of dark. Uh, but there is gold in there. Come on, focus. And I'll be honest, I didn't find it, you know, panning. Um, or I wasn't even really looking for it. I was at a, a campsite and uh, near Link Creek, down near Prescott. And I was setting up my camp and I saw some glass. And whenever I, whenever I find, you know, trash at a campground, I always, excuse me, I always pick it up. I like to leave the campsite cleaner than when I, when I found it. So I picked it up and, uh, you know, I thought it was just some glass and found this little vial. And I feel bad for whoever dropped it. Um and lost it, but that's my first gold. Uh, hopefully the next gold I'll actually find with the metal detector or, or panning um, instead of finding somebody else's gold. But that's my story. Uh, I'm having fun with this detector now. I'm gonna go out. I think the weather's clearing a little bit and practice some more. I can use this, kind, this vial with this gold um, to kind of learn the sounds and learn how to set up the machine and and uh, get a better feel for it and trying to learn between you know trash and and uh, gold and what settings to use so 
I'm kind of optimistic now about this area now that I saw the claim sign. I won't go on that claim down there. Um, and I saw the tailings, it looks like, or some piles where somebody's been digging. So, and just because of the rocks. So I will do a little more uh, detecting and see if I can find anything and just kind of have fun. It's a beautiful day. It's finally starting to cool down here in Arizona. So you all take care.